All right, so I'm about to attempt a puddle pour. I've tried them a couple times on tiles and I have not been successful with it. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. This is the 24K gold. emerald I guess. Sapphire. So I normally do flip cups and I've been doing open cups lately. I really want to get this puddle pour down. This is an amethyst. Some bubbles in here. Where is it? Oh, no. I don't have one of those fancy ones. I got one of these kind. Oh, did I do this color yet? I don't think I put the berry in there yet, did I? All right, now I'm just gonna repeat that again. this color.
it's the next part that freaks me out the pour over part that's the part that freaks me out we're still recording we're recording i can't even tell okay it's pour over time oh wait let's do this real quick much in the way of so it's gonna go for it man yeah, I'm this is gonna be so messy oh. Try to make it super liquidy. One more stir here. Oh my god, dude, this is this this freaks me out. Get it off of there as quick as we can. Let's do this. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry about the language, guys. It's everywhere, but I'm just telling myself it's gonna be worth it. My heart's beating so fast. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, wow, look at that. The drippings look really cool right here in front of me on the table. Dude, it is so liquidy. I want to give a, a shout out and a thanks to Heart Acrylic a YouTube channel. Um, I, I asked her about whether to um, whether to add anything to that our artist loft um, pre mixed black stuff, and she said to go ahead and do it. So that was good to know because it's kind of expensive so it's nice to be able to i was able to dilute it her big note was uh i think she said like i was trying to look up the com uh the conversation we had but i was having a hard time with my computer but i ended up adding twice the amount of flow troll as paint and um and then i just like topped it off with water so i think i did like five ounces of the artist loft Premix black, and I added 10 more fluid ounces, you know, quote unquote fluid ounces uh, by weight. Um, and then I kind of just topped it off with water. So I didn't actually weigh the water, but it was an 18 ounce cup. So it's probably about three ounces ish of water. But I just finished it off with water. It was super liquidity which, uh, I don't know, I should probably just leave it alone here, right? It's tempting just to kind of try to see what else we can get off of there. Get as much of the black off as we can. Man, that's exciting. What a rush. Okay. Get on there. <laughs> yeah, it's raining outside. All right, let's see if we can get this. Sorry about that loud noise. So, 
Pretty cool too. Wow. I'm still like coming down from the excitement of doing that pour because it what freaks me out is the pour over, or what I like to call the wash, because it's so liquidy and I have such a small amount of space to work with. And like I totally made a mess of my little booth area here but well, i'll get that cleaned up i mean relatively clean <laughs> i mean nobody really uses it anyways i use it more for storage than anything so it's all good anyways if you guys are watching this thank you so much for checking it out um i'm super stoked on this uh you go through a lot of metallic paints to to be able to do it but uh i want to keep trying this method out i'm so excited uh, this looks so cool. I can't wait to see how it turns out. I just hope that the black really uh, sinks in and doesn't take over because that's been my issue with dealing with um, the black paint is it has the tendency to take over my paintings. So hopefully this sinks in. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. Take care and happy painting. Bye.